Tina Koto Katoa Travel Fano. My name is Andrea and I am delighted to welcome you to Southland. Today we're going to show you all of the things that your clients can see, do and taste while they are in the region. We're presenting today from Invercargill, which is the gateway to Southland. It has direct flight connectivity between Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. They're only a short flight away. We're a great region for FIT travel with a connection along the southern scenic route from Dunedin, 600 kilometres around the coastline, including the Catlins, Tianau and ending up in Queenstown. Our region includes Rakiura, Stewart Island. And today we're going to show you a little bit more about what you can do when your clients are here. Hi, I'm Lex at Dig This in Vicargo, the only heavy equipment playground in the Southern Hemisphere. Here we have diggers ranging in weight from one tonne to 20 tonne, where you can come and smash cars, dig holes, charge around, pick up tyres, restack them, do donuts. We've been open here since October 2017. We take group bookings of up to 10 every hour and a half if you want to bring groups through. We range in age from five year olds right up to 95 as the oldest customer we have had. Just seeing people's reaction to what happens when they actually have got control of such a large machine and they just are absolutely amazed by what they can do. Driving machines is something you just don't get a chance to do. You see them on the sides of roads. When you travel around the world, you see them everywhere, but you just don't get to drive them. And people love driving machines. There's something about them. I absolutely love it. You're just dealing with people, and you get people from all different walks of life. It is the coolest job you could ever have. There are many different accommodation properties across Southland. I'm coming to you right now from the Escott Park Hotel in Invercargill. This is a four star property with hotel, motel and apartment room types, perfect for group travellers or your FIT clients. In Invercargill there are also boutique lodges with high quality finishings and of course that backpacker and campground accommodation for your more budget conscious clients. Agriculture in Southland is a really important part of our story and there are beautiful farm stays that your clients can stay in that have that amazing authentic New Zealand experience. Your clients can wake up and see the sheep or the cows across the farm and taste the beautiful food that's been produced from that farm as well. On Rakiura Stewart Island there are also a number of accommodation types from your B&B properties to luxury lodges uh, and also the Department of Conservation huts that are based on the Rakiura track for any of your clients that are doing the Great Walk. Hi guys, we're coming to you from Rakiura Stewart Island. Rakiura Stewart Island is New Zealand's third largest island and is twice the size of the country of Singapore. This is a 20 minute flight coming over from the Invercargill Airport, the domestic gateway, or there is a one hour ferry ride that comes over the strait behind me, which departs from Bluff. There are multiple crossings each day. Stewart Island is known as one of the bird havens of New Zealand. 97% of the island is protected under conservation estate, meaning that the bird life has been able to thrive under these conditions. Stewart Island is home to native birds like the kiwi, the Weka and the Kaka, which provide a beautiful playlist for your clients to listen to as they explore the island. The kiwi on this island are really large, I'm talking the size of a turkey. They come out at both day and night and the best way to experience this is through a guided kiwi spotting experience which can be done through multiple operators on this island. One of the other major attractions on Stewart Island is the Rakiura Track, which is a New Zealand Great Walk. A Great Walk means it's one of the most prestigious walks across New Zealand. Your clients can enjoy this walk on a multi-day hike or just a half day, depending on their level of fitness. The half day experience will have your clients enjoy a water taxi over to Port William, one of the first huts and hike back into the township. This is a really gentle beach walk and can be done by many levels of fitness. For those that have a more adventurous client, they can choose to do the multi-day experience that takes them across the middle of the island and over to Patterson Inlet before hiking back into the township. Kia ora and welcome to Shark Experience. I'm Mike Haynes, I am the owner of Shark Experience here which undertakes shark cage diving and bluff for the last 11 years. 
Well, Shark Experience is the only shark cage diving operator in New Zealand. And what we offer is a, a, a service to Motunui Island where you get the opportunity to dive in a cage surrounded in great white sharks. Once we get to Motunui Island, we'll anchor up. The sharks come in when they're ready. But every day is different. They don't just swim past. Sometimes they'll come up to the cage, they'll almost talk to you. Why is New Zealand the best place to come and visit the sea sharks? Well, first of all, obviously you're coming to New Zealand, which is a great place to visit. We have such a high success rate in the number of sharks that we see each day. The waters are reasonably clear. The marine life is unique. We can take up to 15 cage divers and five sightseers. All we ask from the divers basically is that, um, that they have some confidence in water. Because we have a dive instructor on board, they do not need to have any experience at all. Our oldest um, individual we've had in the cages was 80, and of course the youngest is 12. We've had individuals that have been in um, wheelchairs. We can obviously assist them. We're getting more and more inquiries on that side as well. Every experience from people that get out of the cage is unique. I get a lot of gratitude and seeing them happy and seeing smiles on people's faces. Southland is a major food producing region in New Zealand. From the land to the sea, our agricultural heritage provides us with beef and lamb that is found in restaurants globally, and our oceans and waterways that provide us with delicious kaimawana or seafood. The bluff oyster is to Southland what pasta is to Italy. This iconic dish features on menus from March through to August every year, and there's even a festival in its name, the Bluff Oyster Festival, where the rich meet the rugged and celebrate this tasty treat in Southland every May. We're also a major producer of Southland blue cod, which has grown in abundance around New Zealand waters, but particularly in the Fovo Strait. This mild white fish flavour has uh, become a household staple in Southland. The Southland power, or the Blackfoot abalone, is one of the largest species of power or abalone in the world. Restaurants like where we are today at Oyster Cove make a beautiful creamy power dish. Uh, in fact, Oyster Cove is one of the top eateries in Southland, especially if your clients are food fanatics. Uh, they are a real must do. Many of our restaurants offer a farm to fork philosophy, which is changing the way that Southland positions itself as a food destination for the future. Thank you to all the agents for watching. I'm sure that this small taster of Southland has given you some great ideas for your client itineraries. No my hearty my, we look forward to welcoming you and your clients to Southland soon. Mm -hmm.